Are you planning on turning off the heat to your home or cottage this winter and you want to make sure your ultraviolet system doesn't freeze and burst? Well, I'll show you how in four easy steps starting right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy. I own Water East Store and Water Store in Midland. Our YouTube channel has lots of water treatment videos, all, everything from how it works, how to install, how to maintain, so you can make some great decisions about water treatment for your family. If this is your first time to our channel, welcome. Uh, you may want to consider clicking the subscribe button bottom right hand corner of your screen. That'll take you right to all of our YouTube videos. Lots of great information there to make you help you make some great decisions. Also, I'd like to encourage you to watch this video right to the end. I'm going to have a link to my playlist there, my ultraviolet disinfection playlist. So again, lots of information for all the different brands of ultraviolet disinfection systems that are on the market. And if you like this video, please remember to give it the thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. So what you need to do is you need to drain the water out of the whole system. So the first step is you're going to turn the water off to the cottage or home and you're going to drain it uh, completely. So the next step is that you would unplug the ultraviolet disinfection system. Take the power off. Now, um, a system like this UV Dynamics or Vequa systems and that that have countdown timers, the timer will actually stop. And then when you plug it back in in the spring, the timer will resume. So you still get 12 months out of that lamp. It's just that you six months this year, six months next year, or however it's uh, divided up uh, that way. Okay, so once you've done that, then what you need to do is remove the filter housings. So in this um, ultraviolet, three-stage ultraviolet system, as you can see, the filters are incorporated into it. So you just unscrew them, dump out the filters, and dump out the water. You're going to throw away those filters because you don't want that bacteria breeding um, over the winter months. So um, you're going to be putting new filters in in the spring. So some systems may be a standalone ultraviolet system like this one here. And uh, for those ones, again, you would have separate filter housings that you would unscrew the filter housings and uh, remove the filters and, like I say, discard them. So then what you want to do is discard, uh, drain the uh, uh, stainless steel cylinder. So this one here has a drain port at the bottom. So you just need a 5 16th inch wrench to undo the port and drains the whole system down. Some of the other systems, you have to undo this nut at the bottom here to drain that down. But again, you have to be careful because there could be a little bit of water trapped at the bottom, which is one of the reasons why I like these uh, UV dynamic systems, because it makes sure it uh, drains completely. So the, the other thing you have to check is the, the configuration or how the unit was plumbed. So these units here, like I say, they can be plumbed horizontally. Now you have to be careful if the fittings are up like this one is right now and you uh, remove the lamp and you remove the sleeve to drain the system, there'll still be some water sitting in the bottom of it. So you have to use a compressor or something like that to push out the, the water, um, use some air to push out the water. So in a drinking water system, like this uh, Vequa system here, again, you have to be careful because like I say, you can see how it's configured. We actually had one customer this year that uh, didn't drain the system totally and it blew the end off uh, when it froze. So you can make sure that um, you get all the water out, move the uh, lamp and the sleeve, like I say, get all the water out, use a compressor to blow it out. Or what some people do is they put quick connects on these systems and then they disconnect them, put them in the trunk of their car, take them home over the winter time and then reconnect them in the spring. So that's, that's another option. Once you've, uh, springtime comes, it's back, time to put it back into service. Like I say, put in new filters. If it's time to change the lamp, change the lamp. But if not, you can use, reuse the, the lamp that hasn't had 12 months of use yet. Plug it in, check for leaks, turn the water back on, and enjoy another great summer at your home or cottage. And just so you know, we offer free shipping and discount pricing on all of our water treatment products, including our ultraviolet disinfection systems, the replacement sleeves, lamps, filters, etc. And that's it. If you like what we saw today, please click the subscribe button if you haven't already. For some more information, you go to our websites, either watereastore.com or waterstoremidland.com. And that playlist I mentioned earlier about ultraviolet disinfection, you can click on it right now. Again, lots of great information there for you and your family. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Gary the Water Guy. See you next time.